there are six common side effects on keto diet and in this video you will learn how to avoid them. Most people feel great on keto, full of energy and mental clarity, but not in the first week. There is something called keto flu and in the first week most people experience it especially on day two to five. You can feel like the flu, headache, fatigue, perhaps you feel irritable and experience a lack of motivation, perhaps some nausea. You will just feel unwell. Fortunately, there is a simple reason for this and there is a simple solution. Some people think of this week as detoxing from sugar, getting off the sugar drug, ending the carb dependency and adapting to burning fat instead. That's part of the explanation, but there is something even more important going on. When you start a keto diet, your levels of the fat storing hormone insulin drop. And this is what gets your fat burning going. But lowering insulin has a few more effects. Your kidneys will start excreting more salt and water so you may experience that your urine production increases and you will pee more. Until the body adapts to this, you may end up a bit dehydrated and salt deficient and this can result in a headache, fatigue, feeling irritable, demotivated, perhaps dizzy with some nausea. The keto flu. The solution is very simple. Drink more fluids and make sure you get enough salt. So how should you do that? The simple and tasty way is to drink a cup of bouillon one or two times per day. Just dissolve half of bouillon cube in hot water and stir and then drink. An even simpler option is, if you don't mind the taste, is to dissolve half teaspoon of salt, Himalaya salt, in this case not normal table salt, in a large glass of water and drink it. And remember, not sea salt, table salt and stuff, Himalaya salt, okay? Well, or any other way to get enough salt and water. This can almost feel like magic. Within 15 or 30 minutes, most symptoms of the keto flu usually just vanish. And you can keep doing this for as long as you need. You should probably do it at least once a day during the first week to feel good. And after that, if you feel you need it, if you still don't feel great, make sure you eat enough fat so that you are not hungry. And if you still don't feel good, you could add back some carbs. That will definitely take care of the initial keto flu. Other side effects on keto are less common, so we'll go through them fairly quick. There are five more than you may want to know about. Leg cramps can happen. Like the keto flu, this is caused by the increased urination and the connected loss of minerals like sodium and magnesium. Usually, getting enough fluid and salt can stop leg cramps from happening. But occasionally, supplementing with magnesium can be helpful. Constipation also happens occasionally for some people. But note that when you eat highly nutritious food like meat, fish, eggs and fat, these foods are almost completely absorbed in the gut. So there will be less stuff left to get rid of and you may not need to get the bathroom as often. That's normal. Nothing is broken and there is no need to fix it. So when I talk about constipation, I mean if there is significant discomfort involved and again drinking enough and getting enough salt is helpful as dehydration can result in constipation. Also eating non-starchy vegetables can help prevent it. And likely that's enough. But if you still end up having issues with constipation, use in our link the information for more tips on how to handle it. Keto brief. When you get into ketosis, 
some people experience a characteristic smell from their breath. A fruity smell that can remind people of nail polish remover. And this is the ketone body acetone. And it's a sign that you have started to burn tons of fat. Not everyone experiences this. And for those who do it, often disappears after some time as your body adapts. If keto brief is a problem for you, there is a link in our menu with tips on what to do about it. Heart palpitations. Now, it's not uncommon for people to experience that their heart beats a bit harder and a bit faster initially. And this can again be partially due dehydration and salt deficiency because a reduced fluid volume in the blood can result in the heart having to beat a bit more often. And again, enough salt and water should help. Finally, reduce physical performance. Don't plan any personal records in the gym or fits of endurance during the first week or two because adapting to burning fat for fuel can take a few weeks, so be kind to yourself and take it a bit easier at first. Also, if you don't feel strong when exercising, make sure you are getting enough fluid and salt because that is crucial for physical performance. And again, Himalaya salt, guys. Okay, the next point is taking extra salt and fluid about 30 minutes before you exercise can make a huge difference. Those are the six side effects that is good to be aware of. For more rare potential side effects and how to handle them, check out in our link section. Primary, however, what most people are going to experience are some minor keto flu symptoms like headache that can be handled well with enough fluid and salt. That's the bottom line and that's what I recommend that you remember from this video. Make sure you get enough salt and fluid during the first week on keto. For example, have a cup of bouillon one or two times a day. That's going to make the whole experience way more enjoyable and you will likely feel fine again in no time again. In the next video, we will look closer at how to get into ketosis because it's not only about the carbs. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.